My name is Scott, and I've been involved in the virtual reality scene here in Japan since 2016 by actively promoting AR, MR, VR functions such as tonight, as well as attending XR trade and XR game shows. This evening, we're going to take a little journey together where I'll talk about the various different haptic systems for virtual reality. So, VR haptics add tactile feedback to virtual environments, enhancing immersion by letting users feel interactions like touch, impact, temperature, and in some cases, we'll learn about temperature. The rise in VR gaming, professional simulations, and social VR experiences has increased the demand for immersive haptics, drawing the attention to third-party innovations. We'll examine the current VR haptics market, spotlight two leading companies, and take a look at Japan's con contribution to haptics development. So let's dive into the current state of VR haptics marketplace, focused on several key topics. The first one is, in the VR haptics industry, and in VR itself, the growth factors. Growth is spurred by advances in VR tech, from software advancements to hardware expansions, pushing the boundaries of what users can experience. So who are the key players in this, in this field right now? While well, large VR companies like Meta, Pico, Sony are incorporating basic haptics into their HMDs, it's the third party companies who are pushing the envelope with specialized high fidelity, high, high haptic devices. And they face some certain challenges. High costs, compatibility issues, and battery life continue to challenge VR haptic innovation. And developers must make devices that are both immersive and practical for long-term use. There is something that comes up which we call limited immersion. That is the difference between seeing and feeling with limited interactive feedback are some of the challenges that VR haptic makers have to overcome. There's one other thing which we have to deal with we call virtual misalignment. And that means when there's less precision, there's less reality in VR. And sensory mismatch between the visual and physical sensations contribute to a less immersion, immersive experience. So let's look at some of the equipment that's available on the market now. Body suits and vests. These are commonly used in games, VR training, military applications providing full body feedback. Controllers and gloves. These offer nuanced feedback, like simulating textures, grasping objects, and appealing to applications in VR gaming, surgery, and product design. But there is one more out there. We call that remote operations. These typically are more complex and used in the professional fields like industrial training using robotics. These systems provide resistance to replicate muscle engagement. When you look at enhancing the first-person shooters in virtual reality, there's no company better than Pro2 VR. Established in France in 2018, Pro2 is dedicated to designing VR accessories with a focus on consumer VR shooters and professional VR training. Pro2 focuses on enhancing precision in VR, particularly for shooter games, by replicating real-life gun mechanics in VR settings. They're known for rugged, reliable products, tailored for enthusiasts and professional users alike, especially in VR gaming comp competitions. Since its launch in 2016, ProTube VR has always sought to improve its products and often comes up with new ones at a rapid pace to meet new uses of VR. The company's vision is to push the boundaries of VR experiences by developing innovative accessories that provide realistic tactile feedback, thereby deepening the sense of presence in virtual environments. Their engineering team prototype solutions which undergo rigorous testing phases to ensure functionality and 
durability, and user comfort. While specific financial figures are confidential and unavailable at this time, the team at Pro2 VR has assured me that they've experienced consistent growth, expanding its product line and market reach since its inception. Pro2 VR has a variety of products to enhance the virtual experience, which not only include add-ons that work with existing VR equipment, but also make games like sword fighting, golf, and flight simulation more immersive. On top of that, they also have developed VR-specific haptic devices that improve the VR first-person shooter experience. Two of ProTube's haptic products are the Provolver and the Force Tube. The Provolver is a haptic pistol accessory that replicates the recoil and rumble of virtual firearms, enhancing realism in VR shooting. The Force Tube is an advanced gun stock featuring haptic feedback simulating rapid recoil, providing the user a more immersive rifle and SMG shooting experience. Developers can integrate their games with Pro2 VR products by utilizing their haptic feedback technology. Pro2 VR provides comprehensive documentation and support to facilitate seamless integration, ensuring that their game corresponds accurately with the physical feedback delivered by their accessories. The collaboration with developers enhances the immersive quality of VR applications, offering players a more tangible and engaging experience. Talk about integration, technically, from a simple integration that distinguishes between force tubes, making it possible to manage Protomy's two force tubes differently to what we call advanced integration, where developers can create new menu management, the various force tubes in different channels. In this way, by enabling force tubes to connect in any order and saving that location of said channel, makes the virtual weapon linked. ProTube VR use cases include consumer and professional gaming, where gamers use the accessories to achieve more precise aiming and heightened sense of realism in VR shooting and simulation gaming. Arcades and VRs that incorporate ProTube VR products to offer patrons immersive and interactive experiences. And finally, police, military, and training simulation to provide realistic weapon handling experiences. Next up is B Haptics. So let me talk about B Haptics. B Haptics is a leader in the VR haptics industry, known for its advanced technology and innovation. Founded in 2015 in South Korea, B Haptics specializes and haptic solutions designed for immersive in-gaming simulations and enterprise applications. The company is focused on creating untethered haptics that don't restrict user movement, thereby positioning B Haptics as a versatile VR haptics provider. Their products are compatible with various existing VR platforms like the Quest and soon the Pipico ensuring accessibility across gaming and training environments. Some of the key figures the business development team at Be Happy shared with me are 300 plus consumer games and custom integration for enterprise customers. 50,000 total product sales volume and estimated 180 million US dollar valuation as of November. The B Haptics development process over the last decade has been impressive with them releasing new and exciting products each year. The first time I met the team from B Haptics was at the Tokyo Game Show in 2018, where I actually got to test the Tactile DK1 Haptic Vest and the Tactile VR Facial Interface. I was blown away by how immersive the Haptic products were. And in 2020, I purchased the TacDog DK3 Haptic Vest, which is here tonight. And in 2023, I purchased the Tech Gloves. 
Again, both the tech gloves and the vest are here, and you will have an opportunity to demo them tonight. The newest to their lineup in the video here is the TaxSuit Pro, the TaxSuit Air, and over on the table, the TaxSuit Sweeties that are now available via the website. Aside from the three new products I just mentioned, they also offer the TAC Visor, which is a facial interface that fits into the virtual reality headset itself. The TAC Toasty for arms and the TAC Toasty for feet. For developers, the BeHaptic team have made a web-based tool called the Designer that supports SDKs for both Unreal and Unity that will allow you, the developer, to create and test your first haptics in about 30 minutes. The haptics use cases, consumer and professional VR gaming, LBE, arcades and VR centers, safety training in factories and warehouses, military and police training, found this one is interesting actually it was buyers in the housing and in, in interior market using the tap clubs. Educational experience like soccer or taekwondo using the tap tosi feet. Medical research and rehabilitation using the tap tosi arms and the tap tosi feet. And finally live theater performance where audiences and performers with hearing impairments can use the behaptics vest to enhance the experience. The final segment of my presentation will include briefs on several Japan-based companies who are also making VR haptics and products for the consumer and enterprise markets. First off is Shiftall. They have a team specializing in the development of software and hardware, as well as mass production of various IoT and VR-related products. They are committed pioneering the future of living, always striving to be one step ahead. The Pebble Field. The Shift Dolls Pebble Field is a VR experience that allows you to go to that area and feel hot or cold by simply customizing the world of your VR metaverse, such as VR Chat or Nearest VR. The Pebble Field is a device where temperature can be freely controlled between 9 degrees to 42 degrees in a stable 25 degrees Celsius environment. When you design your VR world, just embed the temperature information according to that virtual location. The next up is Teleexistence. Inc. aims to be the systematic innovator of scale and robotics. Innovator means stuff, and scale means big. With a systematic approach of looking at things that need to be done in a way that's reproducible. Tele-existence system called TX Scara was created to do the specific task of restocking refrigerated shelves with bottles and cans, a repetitive and tedious job generally performed by employees in often uncomfortable settings. TX Scara can be in operation 24-7, replenishing shelves at a pace of up to 1,000 bottles and cans per day, relying almost completely on its AI system known as Gordon to know when and where products need to be placed on the shelves. TX Scara can also be operated remotely using VR, and they have implemented haptic feedback into the touch controllers, adding immersion for the user. The final Japanese company I want to talk about is H2L. H2L specializes in muscle feedback technology that stimulates muscle contractions to simulate touch and force feedback. H2L's technology has demonstrated, been demonstrated in gaming and remote control, control fields, giving users a sense of realistic touch from a distance. First VR. H2L's first VR haptic product is the world's first device equipped with 14 muscle displacement sensors that detect muscle bulges and provide haptic feedback. Compared to existing technology using muscle displacement sensors, this device has higher noise immunity to electromagnetic waves and perspiration, and can input intrinsic sensations, body position, movement, degree of exertion, to a computer with high accuracy. 
VR haptics are rapidly advancing and are essential to creating fully immersive virtual experiences. Companies like B Haptics and Pro2 VR are shaping the market with high quality, specialized products. Japan's innovative contributions reflect a commitment to pushing the boundaries of VR haptics, particularly for professional applications. As VR adoption grows, so will the demand for third party haptics, helping to bridge the gap between the virtual and the physical world. Thank you.